Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here. Say it with me, just in time. That's right. It's Friday. Time for another edition of Friday's Finds. We're gonna be playing with the RV on this edition of Friday's Finds. Gadgets and gizmos for the RV. What do you do with your lawn chair when you're traveling? Throw it in the back of the truck? Throw it on the bed in the RV? How about, this is from Kemco. This is a chair and bike rack. Hang all kinds of stuff off there. It's very well built. It's heavy duty steel rod with a rubber coating on it. I, had a, I have a specific interest in this and it's not for the chair. Y'all remember that gray water tote that I found at that blue Barker tote several months back? Well, I've just been driving around with it tied onto the ladder and I was worried about those tie points failing. Well, that works practically perfect. Got it up high enough now that I can put the e-bike on here without any issues. Great value, great little piece of equipment genius idea for what it is i think i need to put a second strap on there just to be safe yeah all right moving right along so if you've been following the channel for any length of time you know we've got a, a ratty pack we've got two rat terriers uh they're they're a bit excitable being rat terriers and we've always had the concern of them escaping Mama's very worried about her babies going astray. This, this product helps with that. So if you have pets that are traveling with you, you just might want one of these. That is an adjustable RV screen door protector. It comes with screws. Whoa! Where are you going? Pretty uh, comprehensive instructions. And we can see it's got adjustable adjustments on both sides so it doesn't matter how wide your door is when we purchased Trudy thunder the thor magnitude rb34 when we purchased this i made my own this had this been available now this is much heavier now, a, a larger dog could probably get through that a large dog is not going to get through this one so you would put that on there just like that and i'm telling you this thing is heavy 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 but that would look it would look good and you wouldn't have to worry about Fifi escaping. So the screen door protector was courtesy of and thank you to uh, Apara, Aparas USA. Anyway, yeah, thank you for sending that. The next product, another sponsored product, solves a problem that a lot of us have. And if, if you've been following the channel, I've done this on a couple of vehicles. So I, I flat tow an F-150 behind Trudy Thunder. And Trudy Thunder came with a camera that I can see really good on if I could see the monitor. So the camera's got great angles, great resolution. The monitor, not so much. So I have a second wireless camera that goes on the back of the, the F-150 that I flat tow white lightning and that feeds to a monitor sitting on the dash of Trudy Thunder white lightning's not here white lightning's in the shop I'm not flat towing the rental vehicle here but we're going to use it to demonstrate 
the vast end the wireless backup camera kit your driving expert let's take a look at what is included instructions look like they're pretty simple lots of packing material you don't want that to blow away and we have I presume this is the monitor two different antenna ports camera, the suction mount, the suction mount for the monitor I presume, well I guess you could use it on the, the camera, there's a plate to secure the camera, glare protector for the monitor, We also have a metal mounting bracket for the monitor. Oh, and it comes with adhesive. You can actually stick that on with two-sided adhesive. That's awesome. And the camera, let's see. We're not given the only option it looks like provided for the camera is to hard mount that. To the back of the RV but since since I'm just doing a demo with this unit I'm gonna see about putting it on my Lieber magnet mount so let me let me work on that and figure out how to get this all set up and I'll be back don't go away got got to got to be inventive I have the camera on the magnetic mount and that's connected to that's plugged into a cigarette lighter. This is the included 12 volt plug. Now I am parked back about so that the camera's about where it would be if if white lightning, the, the F-150 was here. So this puts the camera about where it would be. A very nice picture. So we can get rid of the, the parking lines. Now it, you can have several cameras on this. So you go into the channels. We need a car to drive by. Where's my car we just drive by when you need it? It's a very clear picture though. Very, very much like that picture. See how this camera works out. It's not the same as having it mounted on the back of the truck and driving the RV. Sometimes that look that space gives you a bit of a delay. Picture's really clear. I like it. I think it's a good value. All right. Let's move on to the next item. Moving right along with our gadgets for the RV edition of Friday's Finds. I just returned from a, a four-day, four-campsite journey. I went to four different state park campgrounds and I found something interesting and that is I, I could act we use Verizon so we're, we're Verizon I have a Verizon internet data card jetpack whatever you want to call it both our phones are Verizon 5g the data card is 5g also where our phones are 5g 4g I found that I could actually I had better 5G service way out at 
Cooper Lake State Park than I do here in Collin County. And then I, I moved over to two different campgrounds. One of them was Eisenhower right there on Lake Texoma. And I had like two bars 5G, but I couldn't make phone calls. I could access the internet. I watch YouTube, which is fine, but I could not make phone calls for whatever reason. And we've been experiencing that issue in other locations as well. Now, I have a 4G sys, uh, boost system. I have a, a Wii Boost already installed. We bought that years ago. It's critical for us to be connected, especially for Yappy's job. And being a content creator, I need access to the internet as well. So when everything has transition to 5g my Wii boost was only 4g there's no point in trying to boost 5g with a 4g that just doesn't work so i went and did a little research and i found since we're dedicated to verizon for the most part no the chassis has at&t built into trudy and i've got a t-mobile pay-as-you-go plugged into uh the thing on the roof doesn't matter. Those are fallback. You know, the, the, the AT&T on Trudy only works when Trudy's on. So if in, in, in an emergency, we can turn on the chassis and pick up AT&T. Most of the time we're running on Verizon. So when I found that I could buy a amplifier just for the Verizon band, because all of your carriers are in their own little band. And it would save me hundreds. This is what I ended up with. So let's take a look at what's in this box. This is, and, and this, this is sponsored by the Dude RV. The Duders! All my Duders have, because they used the YouTube, the Google revenue to purchase this. So th thank you for that. So this is dedicated to the three gigahertz band. I need I need a sharp eight. It is single band. So if you come out to my RV with uh, one of the other carriers and need to get on the internet, my amplifier is not going to help you very much at all so in this box we have an amplifier oh this is a small one too quite a bit smaller than i was expecting well that's a good thing i like small this fits in the, almost in the palm of my hand and we have antenna that's the interior antenna bolts, have some cabling, power supply, instruction manual, we have a directional antenna. Now I already have the directional antenna. Well, I'm not going to, I'm going to, I have another use for this. I'm going to use this out at uh, Tranquility Base. That's going to be Tranquility Base also. You'll notice there's two different ends on there. So the only thing we're going to be using today that's in that box are these two items right here. My plan is to just take out the the current 4G and put that in its place. So let's go back here and I'll show you how I've got that, where I have that. So the, the current system is in here. And that is a multi, multi band, multi frequency and a booster. It's hot. This is actually on the slide. It's under the bunk because we needed the antenna in here. 
this thing gets hot. And what I've done is I've tapped into, because there's no inverter plugs, this needs to be on whether we have shore power or not. But now that we have 400 amps of, of lithium battery, LiPo 4 battery, now that we have 400 amps of LiPo 4 battery, it's less of a concern, but we still need to be on an inverter plug because it's 110. I have tapped into that and, and just have a, a, ta a pigtail for the power down here. I just simplified things. It's out of the way. So... Going round and round. Let's make the connection. What is gonna be required? When I first started using the signal booster, the cell signal amplifier, when I first started using the cell signal amplifier, it came with a, an omnidirectional antenna. And I mounted up there on the, on the ladder. Uh, it wasn't, wasn't too very long. I was driving on the county road and a tree branch raked it off. And that happened several times. <laughs> so, so I went to a, an automotive on a, on a spring and that got raked off twice. And I said, you know, this, this is just a real pain in the butt with these omnidirectional permanently mounted antennas. And a lot of the times I couldn't connect to a tower with the thing anyway. So I, I bought a unidirectional antenna. This, this is intended to point directly at the tower. This is Wilson. Same kind of antenna that came in that box. But I just bought, invested, I just invested in that separately. And so my cable is stored. Hold on. My cable is permanently routed and stored in that compartment. And if you go back in time on the channel, I built holders for the uh, Starlink antenna as well as for this. We're going to connect this and, and then we'll go inside and see how it works. I like this arrangement because it gives me plenty of height. Now, I, I set all that up before I, I did that. I think I need to lower that down a notch because it makes it a little challenging to get into the, the holder. So now we need to go look at the cell phone again. Ours, and it dropped back down to three. So it's kind of pulsing. But that'll, that'll get the job done. At least it should. We can now boost 5G. All right. I'm very pleased with the outcome. Let me button things up and we'll move on to our last gadget for the RV. Our last item for the gadgets for the RV. Whoop, hold on. Our last item for the gadgets for the RV edition of Friday's Finds comes to us from Holdor. Holdor. And it's all about getting water into the RV. Have you ever had a drink from a water hose that was sitting in the sun and it tasted like I don't know, water hose? That's well, the BPA, the plastics breaking down in the heat. Polidor has sent us a BPA free water hose for the RV. Oh man, that is that's nice. I like that. And that fits into a smaller space. Hold on, I'll show you. So, so the whole door flexible BPA free hose fits into the same amount of space. This is a 50 foot hose. And you'll notice it's quite pliable and it takes up as much space as this 15 foot hose so that's 15 foot that's 50 foot you can never have enough water hose and i think that's a heck of a deal right there and for the record i travel with 
a hundred feet of water hose. Now granted, one of those 50 foot hoses is for the black tank flush. And then I have 50 feet of BPA free hose. Cause I've been to some Corps of Engineer campgrounds where your water's 75 feet away. So you need to have plenty of water hose with you on your journey. Give you some perspective. This is 50 feet of hose. <clears throat> Not quite long enough to reach the coach because that is 95 feet. We're almost there though. We're pretty dang close. That'll work in just about every campground I go to though. I'm glad I, I'm glad I have it and I know you will too. That pretty well wraps up this edition of Friday's Finds. The RV Gadget edition of Friday's Finds has come to an end. Hey, if you, all of these products, I wanna give a special shout out of thanks to the vendors that sponsored this video. Thank you so much. I'm most grateful. These items can all be found on where else but Amazon. I will include a link in the card above and in the description below. That link will take you to the Friday's Finds shopping list on the Dude RV Gear Recommendation Amazon page. Uh, we appreciate your business. If this is your, if you found some value out of this video or you just enjoyed watching Dude RV grow his beard, please click on that thumbs up. And if you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And when you do that, remember to hit the bell as well, because you don't want to miss another episode of the Dude RV Traveling Roadshow. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. We're most grateful. We really are. And for my patrons, your gratitude is most appreciated. You guys rock! All right, y'all come back now, you hear?